Hello, hello, Kira here with Chicago Reacts. Make sure that you have hit that subscribe button. So many people are not subscribed and they think they are, so make sure to check that subscribe button and do click it or whatever. I don't think it's a bell ring. Um, anyway, uh, we are watching, we are reacting to Brandon Herrera, uh, the cursed gun images that will ruin your day. Cursed gun images that will ruin your day. There is that thick, thick man. Um, <laughs> so uh, being that this is the first video I'm watching for today, uh, this might ruin, this might like, I hope this doesn't flavor my reactions to the, uh, to the future videos. Okay, here we go. Cursed gun images that will ruin your day. Let's do it. Oh. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers, and welcome Hi. back to another episode of my favorite. It's Curse Gun Images. We're doing Curse Gun Images today. Mm. If you're new here, Curse Gun Images is where okay. you guys just take all of the random shit you find on the internet and send it to me. Whether that be that stupid sounds awful. guns, guns that have been bubbled into the ground, for that or guns ever. that just need to be put out of their misery and taken off this planet, or sometimes guns that are just so bad they deserve their own category by themselves preferably off the planet. Anyhow, I got a whole new batch of submissions, so let's go over them together. Starting off, we have what I think might be our first submission of cursed ammo images. So without further ado, let's start the way I always do. Oh my God. With just the tip. <laughs> yes! Yes! That is a dick. Yes! I guess you could say these bad boys were designed for maximum <laughs> penetration. Yes! When it comes to customer satisfaction, these things are Oh my are God, I love it. Yes! Yeah, I, I, I've got a couple more. In no, all seriousness though, I think these are a joke. I don't think this is a real product considering the packaging itself says nine millimeter Parabell end, UK slang for <laughs> for a dick. It's the tip of your dick. Oh, you cheeky Brits. Never thought I'd see a type of ammunition where part of the reloading process is circumcision. <laughs> nine millimeter Parabell end, when you're trying to prove that you're not shooting blanks. All right, I am I am now done. Yes. Okay, no, I'm not one more. This brings a whole new yes. meaning to cocking your gun. All right, I'm done. Yes. Done. All right, next up, we've got whatever uh, this is. That's hilarious. This man is the fucking president of Carry Handle Gang. Looks like we actually have a uh, 3D printed lower as well. So it's a 3D printed AR lower and a 3D printed just long boy carry handle. It looks like you kind of married the G36 style like carry handle integral optic thing with like a long FAMAS kind of thing going on. Totally. I don't have any idea what he just said. Also 3D printed, but still spanning the entire upper. This man will carry the shit out of this gun. <laughs> shit, you could fit like four hands on that carry handle, make it like a fucking team exercise. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a canoe or something. You just you like all line up and carry the gun together. Ian is not happy with what you are doing to the imagery of the FAMAS. There will be consequences. Moving on, this one actually clearly sent to me by a Russian fan. Here we have a Russian meme of me looking at an AK that has got a lot going on. <laughs> got one of those hexagon tactical hand guards. Those are pretty neat, honestly. But it looks like they've done like a replica VSS stock on the back. And judging by the magazine and the rounds that are just floating around the photo, it looks like it's chambered 9 by 39 Mom, can we have VSS? No, sweetie, we have VSS at home. Now, if you're curious what the text says, so was I. So I put it through Google Translate. Okay, yeah, yeah. I doubt this is correct, but Google Translate said, <laughs> I can't decide if it's a gun or not a gun. Doesn't quite seem right. So if there's any native Russian speakers that would like to correct that in the comments, please let me know. I can't I'm decide curious. if it's Either a way, gun not terrible or execution not on this one. We actually did our own version of an AK and 9x39 a while back. Oh, Although wow, if this is really sound. a 9 by 39, I'm curious hitting. why they went with such a long barrel. 9 by 39 is a slow boy. You don't need a lot. Shorter, mo better. No, oh, babe, I prefer the SBR. The big ones hurt me. Now jumping over from Russia back to the UK for a moment. Dirty, dirty. Of course, as you have all heard, Queen Elizabeth II has passed. Not a real big fan of any royal family, but definitely not the ones that have connections to Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, you know, it's the little things. But we do have this photo of the Queen. I just don't think that I could have cared I know that's like, I mean, and I don't mean that in a mean way. I just mean it in a, it is no way impacts my life kind of way or any of my daily thoughts. 
or entertainment or musings or anything. Um, and suddenly my email was flooded with news about her passing. And it's, just, I mean, I, I can understand why maybe people in England were impacted by it, but I, I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, that was my take on it. And, you know, not to bust anybody's nuts on, on how y'all reacted. Shooting the famous and kind of infamous L85, which, you know, hey, based. L85, of course, having a lot of its own problems and being somewhat of a cursed gun image in itself. So hopefully with the passing of the torch, the new generation of Royal Guards will be able to carry something that doesn't suck. Yeah, a man can dream. Unless she redeploys <laughs> after beating Princess Diana in the Gulag. Now, there have been a lot of stupid politicians that have been saying for a while that the Second Amendment in the U.S. only applies to muskets and not any sort of modern firepower. It seems that a few of you guys have been preparing for that interpretation and making some upgrades. Here we have the tactical musket. Here we have what appears to be a tactical L can <laughs> held on by only the finest of industrial strength <laughs> zip ties. And up front, a PEC-15 IR unit. Because you never know when you have to slot red coats in the dark. Now, if you were or the, oh no, I'm thinking of a bayonet. And I was like, and then you want to slap a knife on the front of it, but that's a bayonet. Recall at the end, which I mean, we should definitely bring back. End of the last Cursed Gun Images video, we teased what I called the most cursed AK I had ever seen. What the fuck is that? I actually saw that gun online, bought it, and proceeded to do an entire video talking about how bad it was. It's. Oh, it's not yeah, right. we watched Truly to this, this day, one. I still it's think probably terrifying. the most cursed AK build I have ever seen. But I said we might do a video fixing it, bringing this bad boy up to her former glory as a beautiful Yugo AK. And as always, I'm a man of my word. So if this Cursed Gun Images video gets 100,000 likes, we will do a video Ooh. taking this bad boy, tearing it completely down, back to the basic We'll make sure to like it, and rebuilding it when I, as a beautiful gun. When we finish this video. And not a safety hazard to whoever's holding it. So here we have a submission of uh, what looks like a model, you know, from back in the day, mm -hmm. holding a wacky pistol. It looks like some sort of weird fucking toy gun, right? It's definitely no way a toy that gun, that thing though. Is actually real. Of course not. No, there's no way that's as, real, Brandon. As it turns out this is actually from James Bond. And that pistol, okay. looks like a it could still be know, fake. kid's toy made out of bent sheet metal, is actually a very exotic and rare firearm known as the Gyrojet. It was an experimental weapon Gyro in the 60s, jet. basically getting rid of cased ammunition, instead using rocket-propelled projectiles. This is the world's smallest rocket launcher. And I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty fucking neat. When are you gonna get one, Brandon? That is the question everybody wants to know, is when are you gonna get one? Cause that's kinda fucking rad. Maybe even something that we should do for the channel. Yeah. You know what, I'm gonna double up. I'm gonna double up on the like goal. If you guys get us to 100,000 likes on this video, I'll hunt down a gyro jet. Yes! Can't be that hard, right? Okay, everybody get your ass to the video and like it. Uh, okay, so we're at 555, just in case I fuck this up, right? Oh man, blew it out of the water. Blew it out of the fucking water. Nice work, 255,000. Right? Right? So yeah, if you want to see one of these bad boys fire, I recommend you go ahead and subscribe. If you're enjoying Cursed Gun Images, we do this every now and again. We also do series like Darwin Awards and of course, Gun Meme Review. We also do some cool range videos, including, hopefully coming up, a gyro jet. So if you want to be part of the AKG cult, I mean uh, AKG nation, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Gotta want a gyro jet. Gyro jet. Yeah. Now I know this is Cursed Gun Images and not Gun Meme Review, but this one's kind of a meme, but it also has a cursed gun image in it, so yeah, it works. When you tell her you're gonna destroy that ass and she just laughs. When I said I was looking for a plug for hand grenades, that is not what I had in mind. This brings high impact sexual oh, violence to a whole new fuck. level. And if you're too young to get this joke, God bless you, stay innocent. Uh, As I was gonna say too young, I don't think youth has much to do with it. I, I think maybe a little bit of innocence. No, I mean, innocence. I've never, well, I don't want to give it away what it is. I mean, it's a butt plug. <laughs> Everybody knew that because we're on the internet, people. As long as you can. Now, I've got some 
unconventional improvised shit and some cursed pistols coming up. But if you're looking for weapons of the non-cursed variety, usually, and you live in the United States and you're of age, I would recommend checking out Arms List. I actually remember using Arms List all the time when I was first getting into guns. It's a great way to see deals from local dealers and or meet up with private persons for buying and selling if that's legal in your area. They're an awesome sponsor of the channel. We obviously can't link them on a YouTube video, but you can go check them out at Arms List. We appreciate their support. Now back to some cursed shit. So up next, we have a photo that is apparently from a gun buyback. I present to you the Pipe Gun P90, also known as the Pipe 90. <laughs> what Probably. the fuck is that? It's always funny seeing the shit that oh people build to turn in what at gun buybacks. Shit that's technically what? a firearm, but costs like How 80 bucks to build work? to get a $200 Walmart gift card or whatever the fuck they're giving out. Draining the pockets of <laughs> anti-gun activists, one 3D print at a time. This is actually a pretty common OG design for a, for a pipe shotgun. <laughs> it's a slam fire, so you How can see that. How does that, that look when it fires? What you do is you Looks uh, like a fucking two, two by four. pipes inside of each other, and you push that back, you slam it back, because the shotgun shell is sitting in the first, there's a firing pin at the very, very back of the tube. So by slamming it rearward, you're firing the shotgun shell. Now, a word of advice when it comes to building improvised wow. homemade pipe guns at home. Maybe, like, fucking don't. <laughs> so this next one is from Brazil. Police confiscated what looks to be somehow a cruder looty than the looty. Oh my god, that's awesome! <laughs> it's really kind of impressive though. What's weird is it that, that doesn't even look like a detachable <laughs> magazine. It looks like it's just part of the gun. Maybe just top. So for those of you who don't know, I think there was some drama between Brandon and uh, the dude they just showed, whose videos I've never watched, to, to be fair. Um, and they did a video together and then dude threw Brandon under the bus um, with some, you know, uh, political stuff. Uh, which was not an agreed upon use of uh, the footage. It wasn't a discussed part of the footage. So just to catch everybody up, if you don't know. Fed. And also the octagonal barrel that just looks like a nut at the end, like a brass nut. Just goes to show when you can't buy weapons, people will improvise, adapt, and overcome. And then get it confiscated and then end up on cursed gun images. Now this guy over here has got the cock gun from hell. The very, very tactical blue camo. This is another one of those where I'm like, that's not a real gun. I mean, it's a fucking fake gun, right? And then he's gonna tell us it's not. Flage really helps out. I don't actually know where this photo is from, but what is killing me is the contrast. You got a super crude tube gun that you probably wouldn't even pick up if you were playing Fallout in one hand. And then his modern <laughs> tactical pouches and shit over in front With of like, his belt. It's like an Avion bottle. Yeah, I love how he camouflages his pouches. Meanwhile, his gun um, is right. Next for improvised, we've got well, this. Yeah. The tactical artillery shell, complete with bipod and ACOG, and a hammer and screwdriver to, <laughs> you know, set her off. You Boing. know, typically in the Middle East when they were building IEDs out of old artillery shells, it didn't require manual operation of the actual, you know, detonating. That's why they were using cell phones and wires and shit. This IED here appears to be all manual. I guess they just draw straws for whoever has to be the one to set it off. Yeah. They expect one of us in the wreckage, brother. <laughs> so now on pistols, I present to you the most tactical Glock of all time. As if the stock foregrip and laser weren't enough, we also have a member of carry handle gang. Not sure why we have a carry handle on this one, considering there's no front sight on that gun for the carry handle sight to be useful, but that's okay. I have a feeling he's not going to be using sights anyway. Okay, so the carry handle also has something to do with the sight on the gun. Okay. So, okay. That's what the laser's for. I was laughing, thinking like, oh, you know what? This person probably doesn't have a tax stamp to make this an SBR, considering there's obviously a stock and a foregrip on it. Then I thought, well, the Vertical foregrip isn't exactly vertical, is it? It's at an angle. So I wonder if that skirts the law. And then I realized SBR shit doesn't fucking matter at all because this thing has a fucking auto sear. Got the little switch on the side of the slide that makes it a happy Glock. Yeah, so this is either a legit Glock 18 or this is some cringe airsoft LARP. I'm probably going for the, the latter, <laughs> but who knows? It's a crazy world. Now, I'm not a big fan of pocket carry. I didn't understand much of what he just said, to be fair. You know, the people who like carry those like really tiny, like 22 revolvers in their pocket on the day to day. I'll get into why I don't like it probably <laughs> in this next episode of the Darwin Awards, frankly. <laughs> but the only advantage that it would have is that it's super tiny, super easy to conceal in your pocket. And you can just carry it on the day to day. Yeah, carrying a gun. Well, OK, so my so I just had to stop myself because when I think when I think of pockets, 
I'm thinking of like, well, I mean, I guess my dresses have pockets in them. And those are nice and loose and flowy, which again, I don't know if that's a good idea either. But my pockets on my pants are like, I can barely get my fingers in there, you know? So um, I wouldn't ever think about carrying guns in my pockets. Like not in a, like I wouldn't think about it in like a, doing that in a serious way. Hey, well this guy said, fuck that. I want all the power of a tiny- Oh, I kind of love the itty bitty gun and the regular handle, so great. Any pocket size 22 and the concealability of a fucking AR lower. <laughs> Your wish is his command. Now this next one is when you realize that Colt makes both AR-15s and revolver. Well, cause then I could have the handle right outside the pocket and the gun right inside the pocket. Voila, it's hideous. The fuck? I'm actually trying to think whether or not this is California. <laughs> do you do like- Does this count as features? What do you do with that thing? You have you to have your, your Marty Robbins over big iron at six, but Black Hawk down What the fuck is seven. that back Considering part that for? long sight radius you now get on this revolver with those, uh, those old M4 I sights. I wouldn't even know how to use that. The nice C-clamp you can get on that handguard and the is stability a... of the stock. This thing is the perfect killing machine. I think the only thing that could make this thing more deadly is some dick bullets. Yeah. Well, that closes up this episode of Cursed Gun Images. What was your favorite slash least favorite Dicks. in this episode? Dicks. Let me know down in the comments. And again, you can always submit your Cursed Gun Images Wieners. suggestions over on the subreddit. I want the gyro thing. The gyro thing. You need to get that. Well, Apparently you're getting because you said 100,000 likes and there are 225,000. I want, yeah, that's, that is what I got from, that's what I want you to do. Go. Red or via smoke signal. Anyhow, I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. And as always, I'll see you sexy YouTube mother Yeah, lives yeah, you will. In the next video. Rawr. Thanks. Rawr. Brandon Herrera. <laughs> Where are you going? Damn it. All right, What's up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers, and welcome Whoopsie back to another doopsie. episode of oh, my- I'm not supposed to do that. All right, so, so he did get 225,000 likes which I think means he's gonna get the gyro thingy. What is that? It's a gyro jet. Gyro jet. You're gonna get the jet. Thanks for watching. What was your favorite this episode? Let me know. Um, and he's gonna get, is, does that mean he's gonna get the gyro jet? Anyway, so we weren't exactly a part of that because I of course got around to watching this video a little late. But I will be watching out for the Gyro Jet episode, Brandon. So hop to it. Um, otherwise, everybody, thanks for joining me in watching this video. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.